you want a tarot read? Sure. You don't want to turn the camera on? Okay, I'll let you see my tarot. Is it cold there? Um, no, I, I've been kind of sick. Oh, you uh, have since your trip? Vacation yeah. in Europe and travel and lay on a beach, it can get tiresome. Yeah, and I, I, um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think my thermometer inside my body is broken because I'm either like on fire or I'm freezing. So <laughs> oh, it could be menopause, honey. Oh, it's, a, it's probably a few things. That was my problem. Just got to bite the bullet in a minute. You know? Oh, All I right. Know. What is your life number? What does that mean? What's your favorite What's number? Seven. That is a biggie, isn't it? Okay, me and Sheila going to read I for you. Seven. Oh, is she cupping? To a cup. Oh, that's good. You see my beautiful, beautiful. Mm. That's what you got me in Greece, huh? What? Oh, that's awesome. This piece. Are you wearing pajamas? You can see it. Uh, that meditation has. You can't see it? I can only see your face. Not like, um, Look in the other screen. Um, oh, oh, there's like. It smells really good. What other screen? You can't see the card screen? <laughs> no. Can anybody see your card screen? Yeah, I, see I can. See yeah. I see okay, your face. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. It's I okay. Two of Cups. I trust you. I don't know. Put it wrong. Ooh, ten of cups. Oh, oh look at that. Two that. of cups. Ten of cups. You should have done that. Oh, yes. And then we're all up. Star. No, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, nine. Renee will like that. Nine of pentacles. Oh, can you see? No, nothing. Um, I can see you, but I can't see the cards. All right. Now. This is your first card. Yeah. Two of cups. Uh huh. Okay. Look at it. Two people talking. It's usually a union. This is the ten of cups. Uh -huh. It's a celebration, a family, and stuff like that. Okay. This is the star, and we're going to tell you why that's important. Okay. This is the Nine of Pentacles. She is um, doing well right now with money and business and work. I didn't get that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys keep going back there. Four of Pentacles. I, I don't have that card. <laughs> Four of Pentacles. Wow. Never is money or wealth mm -hmm. or okay yeah it's like the material stuff in life okay. and the cups are obviously the emotion oh i didn't know that Boom. and um the source Sally's source. birthday was yesterday wasn't it yes oh, oh my gosh he's a moon baby I I had such a rough day yesterday. My driver's license was expiring. So I go to the DMV only to find out my license has been suspended since <laughs> February. Oh my God. <laughs> Why did they suspend you? It, it wasn't supposed to be suspended. The state accidentally suspended it. And I called back in February and they said they fixed it and they did not. They didn't arrest you or nothing. You're good, right? <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, this morning I finally got it all straightened out. Yeah, it was. <laughs> mm. The magician. <laughs> Look at her read. This is pretty awesome. Oh, I love the magician. This is so the, the Nine of Cups. Cups. Uh, my, my, Renee. And your inspiration. A lot of cups, huh? And really the good. swords are your thoughts. All right, you want to start? Um, 
Oh, Mm -hmm. are you talking to me? Yeah. Okay. So it's awesome that you got so many cups. There's a lot of feeling there. So two of cups, like Tina was saying, um, is a union of some sort. Partnership. And then the ten of cups, that's, that's the best one. That's your cups are full. You're good. You're in a good place. Emotionally, you're being taken care of. But the interesting thing is, is then it gets to the star, which... Yes. Yeah. So when I look at the star, um, there's a couple different ways, but with the two cards being cups and then the stars, I, I feel like it's a place of you are starting to mix your magic is how I'm going to say that. Mm-hmm. What does that mean? <laughs> so, you know how we have to find the balance in life? Yeah. You got to you gotta take a little here, take a little there to make your own way. Mm-hmm. I feel like right now, it's your being a star and you're mixing your magic. Mm-hmm. You're finding that balance and making a good mix for yourself. Yeah, I agree. When I see this two of cups relationship or a situation where people are talking or thinking about something, um, I think this goes a lot to your travels. You had a lot of family and you were mm-hmm. celebrating life all over the world. I loved it. I loved your pictures. When you see a star like this, Shelly is right. But when it comes into a read, it's usually a positive, and if you look at it, she's half in the mystical and half on earth, and it's about choices and maybe change. It's a good card. And it shows her being vulnerable. Mm-hmm. All right. You're doing good right now. You're pretty stable um, financially. Um, you know, things like that work. You're still working. It's all good. It shows prosperity in your life. When I see the four, it shows balance. It shows your money and your business and your school because you have such a complicated work life Mm -hmm. and what you do is showing Mm -hmm. balance or you need to get more balance in there. Mm -hmm. Because when you see the eight of cups, think about it, cups are emotions, but... You need to make a decision about something or something bothering you. And you're walking more away from the cups and looking in a different direction. (laughs) Can I add to the eight of cups? Because I like in this read, I feel like the eight of cups, it kind of, you know, looks like a sad card, but it, to me, it's a happy card because you're in your power and you're learning the art of walking away, letting go and you're okay with it because Mm, mm, what's what's left in the past wasn't for you and you're okay letting it go now so that you can find what's for you. Hmm. So, yeah. yeah, I just wanted, I, I it looks kind of like a sad card, but I always think of it as a good card. That's a really good perspective. I'll remember that. The moon. What do you think, Shelly? Gosh, the, the moon is one of those cards, uh, you know, it's, that's a hard card for me because uh, the moon card can represent deception of some sort in your life. It can represent finding your journey through, you know, like finding your path in the dark. Um, I don't know. I would imagine after the eight of cups and you learning to walk away that it's more of now you're learning to shine your light in the dark and you're embracing a journey that you're not quite sure about. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I I mean, that all makes sense in a couple of different ways. Well, let's keep reading, okay? Okay. The magician. 
that's like the best card ever. That's yeah. one of my favorite cards because the magician, you are finding your power. You've got everything you need. Mm -hmm. You just have to use it. It's all there. You have everything mm -hmm. inside you um, and around you. You just have to access it. It's there. Hmm. Making some magic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's Oh, and some more cups. So you got the, <laughs> the, uh, the nine of cups, you know, you're, I mean, to me, I always think you're learning to sit with your emotions and being fulfilled instead of, uh, you know, we've all been at those points where um, we weren't feeling emotionally fulfilled. Mm -hmm. And I think this card is a good card to say you're feeling emotionally good. You're in a good place. Yeah, I would agree with that. You're, you're sitting in your own power. On a scale mm -hmm. of one to five, how much you love hubby right now? How much what? Do you love your <laughs> husband? <laughs> one to five. On a what scale? One to five. Okay, five. let's make it easier. You're five right now? No. One to five? One's, probably a two. One to ten, one being the worst, ten being the best. How much you love your oh. husband? One to ten, probably three. Oh, okay. that's where we're at. Okay. This is how I'm reading it. This is a struggle that's been going on probably for years. Five mm -hmm. years. Seven years about this union, okay? Mm -hmm. And about family and what kind, you know, when you're getting married again, you're like, you want that family, you want that stability, you want a happy life. Mm -hmm. So we try for that, especially as we get, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so you made this choice and with it, with this star, I see you in it, Renee, because I always said the final decision will always be when you're ready to do it. When you're, mm -hmm. you know, it was never really up to him. Mm -hmm. It's when you're ready. So yeah. if you're half in the water, half out, you're feeling vulnerable. Because Renee, you have worked like a dog your whole life. I have never met a woman that can work <laughs> like you. And right now, Renee is working three jobs. Mm -hmm. This is... An, three serious jobs and she has always done that and she's always provided very well for her family and her husband so he's pretty happy awesome. feeling balanced in his money okay yeah he's happy look at him money under him money on him money on top of him. <laughs> renee had a discussion with this dude She's like, it has to change. I think it happened in Mexico, didn't it, this year? Yeah, it did. <laughs> These emotions, I'm going to be sending you back, and if it doesn't change, because we don't, I can tell you stories of the shit she has went through with this man. Yeah. It puts her in a moody mood. <laughs> and Renee's, Renee's a Scorpio. And when she comes out at night with the moon, you better watch out. Cause she gonna get you. She's <laughs> very strong, and you know Scorpios in that Renee Moon. I I mm -hmm. I see the Moon card as one of the power most powerful. It pulls the tides. It can mm -hmm. do so much to you. There's a super moon tomorrow. So I know I've been teasing people as a ma magician. When I yeah. see this card, it's time for a change. It's time for magic in your life. It's mm -hmm. time for something mm -hmm. to change. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I'm if I'm you want to keep a balanced life, that balanced, happy life. Where are you at with him? Why is he a three? Oh, he just I mean, we just don't he doesn't like me. We don't I mean he doesn't want to be near me or there's just no intimacy at all. And I don't on the trip I just learned that I know absolutely nothing about him. We're, we're bonded through our trauma. I'm, I don't know. But the, um, 
speaking of trauma, that's the other thing I'm kind of freaked out today. Um, I have to go tomorrow to get a, an ultrasound. I have a, a lump in my armpit and they think it's a swollen lymph node. Mm -hmm. I have been sick, but, um, it's, it's been there for a couple months. So hopefully it's just fat, but you know, that's what time you going back of your head, 10 AM. Will you let us know right away? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure it's just fat. But you know, yeah. So yeah. So hopefully none of those cards. Um, I was waiting for you to pull out the the deadly C card. No, you got a really <laughs> positive read, and you got a lot yeah, of stability great. and prosperity within you. It just. <laughs> There's a balance, though. There's a few cards in there that, you know, it. I see, a, like, maybe you're struggling a little bit, but you're going to get there to the balance that you need. Mm -hmm. It's like a hard decision, though. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. you married, your kids are raised. Do you want to get married again? Do you want to start over again? No. That's big questions for us, you know? Yeah. Ah. Yeah, I don't want to do any of that yeah so i mean like the star card and the moon those both can show balance and like tina said the vulnerability of, in the star you know um she's naked and she's really exposed herself mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah and i don't know if you're feeling that way <laughs> Yeah, Renee, the mm -hmm. cards are basically overall saying you've got so much good things in your life. Mm -hmm. You have you do. stability. You have people that love you. You have family. You have so much. And sometimes it's you can forget yeah. for a moment how much we have instead of how much we don't have. Exactly. No, I feel that. I feel that for sure. And maybe you that's why the magician mm -hmm. popped up for you is just to remind you that you have everything you need. Yes. Mm -hmm. Have everything you need. Yeah. Just got to stay off the internet. The internet? <laughs> Don't Which diagnose you yourself. Had. Facebook? What? No, I I said don't don't go on WebMD and diagnose yourself. Oh, <laughs> no. Uh, no, because then you always have cancer. <laughs> right? Always. <laughs> I don't care what you type in there, Renee. Mm. It's Every the truth, time. isn't it? Yeah. Funny. No, I'm sure it's just that. So, but that's what we're going to. Will they know right away? I don't think. I mean, the. I mean, I don't know if I'll know anything right away. I guess if it's serious and they have to take a biopsy, then, then I'll know it's a little bit more serious. But if they don't they biopsy, you, Mom? no, I'm good. Just taking myself. I've done it before, lots of times. This is not the first lump there's been a few lumps so it's not it's not a big deal you sure you want me to come mm -hmm. down and take you oh no 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 because after that i'm gonna work i, ha I have to work <laughs> you're a strong lady renee you got oh, it oh my thanks so you, you got any good advice for renee mm. Don't ever get married again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I kind of think you you will, but I think I think <laughs> you you know. I think you know what needs to be done. You just keep um, avoiding it. Off. I don't know if it's because you don't want to lose hope, or you just don't want to go through it, or what it is. But I think you know. You know what mm -hmm. I mean. You know, but you know why you're not making a step. In, exactly. You you know, you know. I do too. Yeah, it's totally understandable. Yep. Yeah. You decide what you yeah. want. I understand too, but how do you say, um, the thing about it is, is once, once you do start that journey, I, I think, um, I don't, I think you're going to realize how comfortable you're going to be, 
how do you say it's mm-hmm. like oh, you're gonna let that, that breath out you know what i mean 